And here we are, everybody. So welcome to Pokemon Snap. New Pokemon Snap, that is. I finally got this capture card all set up. Took me a little bit this morning to get ready. But here we go. I want to finally play the game, though. All right, here we go. English. Let's go with that. Um, I don't really like the design of the guy in this game. He's just backwards hat dude. So let's just pick her. Why not? Uh, yes, we'll go with that. And those are little Eevee and Pikachu friends. And, hang on. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. We'll turn it up. Yeah, last time I used our capture card, it was a really bad one that couldn't even go past 30 FPS. I'm hoping this one works out pretty well. Look at those friends. How's it look on your end, guys? It looks like it's going pretty well. Hello, friends. What's the professor's name again? I'm sure he'll tell me in just a second here. Mirror. Hi there. Glad you made it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. Or Lens, for short. Oh, ooh, a little cheeky there. Looks good? All right, the good news then. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so... That's not all. The professor's going to study every single island here in the Lentil region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. Huh? No one. Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But, but even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. I like that Eevee in the background. He's just walking back and forth. He don't know what to do. He's lost. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. Uh, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. There's a puppy over there, too. Now. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing... Or photographing. Why did I say photographing? That sounds so weird. But also not technically incorrect. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see a glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Color-coded like a switch for no particular reason. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other, and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. I got the thing. Very tiny. Oh, there's a little Dendene. <laughs> I like the Audino just keeps walking back and forth. <laughs> like it's lost in thought in that, those same, like, five steps. Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right. Come on, let's go outside. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Aha, perfect timing. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Wait for it. Yes, going. I couldn't move the thing, so I just tapped A. Yes, nice going. Why didn't I think of that? Use the stick to move, genius. On. It's gonna light up. 
Oh, I can't take a photo right now. They only want me to move. I'm good. Alright. I did. Sure thing. Is it too low? I can turn it up a little bit. It's just I didn't didn't want it too loud more than I wanted it, or better too low than too loud, because I can fix it this way. Hang on. This should be fine for now. I keep trying to click back into the game, then I remember, no, this is on my Switch. I can't do that. All looks so happy. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small. Times like this call for zooming in. To zoom in, just hold the DL button. You'll stay zoomed in. Try snapping All right. a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. I did it. I did. It wasn't that hard. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Hey, Professor! You've covered the basics! I'll try turning it up a little bit more. Hello. Photos taken. Three. How was it? Hope you're getting the hang of the research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Try selecting Pikachu. I only have these. Just let me pick them. Choose a thing. There you go. And we go and show Professor. Starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu. It's the first time you've gotten this as your subject. We've never seen one of these before. First thing I do when I rate a photo is give it one to four stars. Came up with this system to help us understand and how to, ca how to er, categorize Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of a or number of star a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Each category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high score pose. Now on to other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in the photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice, balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now I know that was all a lot of info at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With that in mind, here's your evaluation. Yeah! Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Wonderful. And then there's that thing. A new discovery. Nice work. It's in flight. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice, big, and key is good. Is to, yeah, key to a good size score. Can't read already. That's no. That's fine. All we got to do is take their pictures. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Now that. that should be about... That should be about it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo One. It's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it long ago. Or not long ago. With a little help from someone I know. 
You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Just hop on in. And we teleport to a new adventure. I hope so. It's been 10 minutes and I want to take some photos. You can customize the caption and accompany your photos. That's okay. Alright, chat. Let's look at some friends. Now what do we have here? It's a Dodrio. That'll do. Taking our picture there. Oh. Uh, it's not one's not that great now. Whatever. Hey, what are you doing? Already got good photos of them. But what about Dodrio with a bunch of stuff in the background? Oops. Well, that wasn't very good. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Anything else you can see over here? Oh, I can use both sticks to move a little faster. Good. Beedoof! Oh, he ran away. I wanted to photograph the beaver friend. There we go. Got you. Anything else here? There's another one. That one's not as good, I don't think. There's those flowers. Oh! Well, he's gone now. Wasn't prepared for that at all. How's everything sound, chat? Audio good? I keep adjusting the volume a bit. Because I want it to sound good. Just wanna... Oh, hang on. It's over here. There they go. Audio's great. All right. This is fun. There's another Badoof. Come back! There we go, a little dam. Don't turn around. I don't want a picture of your butt. Beat you! They're just gonna follow me around. That's so wholesome. What's that noise? Oh, I didn't get them running away. That's a bad shot now. Hoot! Worm pole. That's a larger shot of them. Uh, pavilion again. What's that noise? I'm trying to hear things. There's another Talo. Okay. I think I'm pretty much used to this again. I mean, it's Pokemon. How can you not be? There's the exit. Oh, crap. When, oh, oh, it's just tail. I thought that was the Emolga again. Oh, you. I do have a limit to how much I can photograph. That symbol marks the spot where you'll tell I should have taken a picture while she was waving. I don't know why I didn't stop that. Basically, it's the end of the course. Is it now? When you get back, I'll take a look at your photo. Okay.
the butt doof. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I have like um three monitors set up right now. There's my TV with the the game actually playing on. There's um my main monitor that has OBS and everything open, and then the third monitor has chat open. Like it's uh, I, I, this is the most I've had for a setup just to play a game before. Hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. And just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo for Pokemon. Okay, only one. All one stars. Okay. This is probably the one that would get me the most. Two stars, but I can only pick one per thing. Only pick one. That's so, so annoying if I want to fill it up completely. Uh, this is probably a better one I got before. Take the Grookey. That looks fine. Bofaland. Why not? Badoof. This one will do then. I don't, they're both terrible. I'm going to replace them anyway, so whatever. Magikarp. Barely see them in the other one. That'll do. Um, well, this count as special behavior? No, not really. It would be two stars, so... Uh, does the grass... Obs the grass obscures it. Will it count for the full thing? I mean, I'm gonna get more worm plenty. I'm gonna try. We'll go with that. Was it all one star? Yes, it was. Excellent. All right. Let's have a look. Dodrio. Scaring them Bidoofs around. Great timing. Excellent. Nice work. Definitely a much better photo. New record. So what is that? Like a platinum star? Cause that other one was definitely like a bronze star. Yeah, I'll keep this one, duh. A new discovery. Next is Grookey. Nice work. Pose is wonderful. Placement, other Pokemon. There's a Pichu there. It's Silver Star. That Pichu is startled. A new discovery. Nice work. Good enough. And these are Gold Stars. Okay, I guess that other one was a Platinum Star. Whatever you want to call it. Only one I got, don't matter. Badoof. A new discovery. Nice work. Gold star for Badoof. He's out here trying his best. A diamond? Okay. That's the highest rank then. Direction, placement. Placement is looking good. Okay. Good enough. Did better than I thought. And here's the Talo. Another gold star for me. That's just a swan on the water. I don't know what I can do much with that. Silver star for that one. Magikarp. It's all we got. It's the only pose I can get. I don't know what you expect from me, Professor. And there's a sleeping hoot hoot. It's definitely a hoot hoot. Nice work. I'll have to come back at night. Comfy is comfy chat. Nice work. A new discovery. Florgis. Nice work. Okay, so far so good. Come on. Fix my headphone jack there. How was it? So, what did you think? Anyway. One last thing, let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. 
The key to raising your research level is to observe all the types of Pokemon behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one to four star. So in short, fill up that photo dex. Keep in mind that you'll or keep that in mind, you'll be on the right track. Man, I just can't read today. I'm too tired. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Look at that! You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. Photo po program newbie. Hold back a sneeze now. Look this way. Smack dab in the middle. Together with friends. You gotta score 500 with other Pokemon there. Alright, I don't need to keep any of the ones I really took right now. Picks up a lot of switch memory. Can take a bunch. Neo one. A certain other Pokemon professor, they say. Now then. That covers just about everything. Hey, so Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Update announcements. New areas. Okay, that's the 2.0 update, right? Well, not quite 2.0, but I remember there's a big update that dropped. New Pokemon encounters await you in these newly added areas. We hope you continue to enjoy your research. Wonderful. Newbie poster. Regular poster. Is it giving me these for my old save data? I think it is. The one where I, like, played it for a day and then never got a chance to go back. Hard five. You read the update notification. All right. All right. Okay, then. You read the- uh, you can stop- you can stop giving me achievements for this. You read the update notification. You read the update notification. Okay, then. <laughs> Chivo farming right there, yeah. Chat, new emotes will unlock if you read my- read all my update notifications. Yeah, there's no Teddy Ursa in this game. I think there's Ursa Ring. But I, I would love there to be Teddy Ursa, but there isn't. Are you headed out on another expedition already? No. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. Oh. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the you'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Okay. I, I would like to go photograph Pokemon again. Can't skip this. Just press X. Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to. I I don't want to fully skip just in case. In case I miss something. Because if I miss something, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should do. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Okay, there we go. Professor. The professor, explanation's all done. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. 
Hi, Minard. Welcome to the stream. All right, we're gonna go do that again, but let me just check uh, the stream health, make sure everything's running fine. All right, we running fine, chat, like a baby moomin. Let's go exploring. First of all. In this lush green park, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. Oh, right. Park day. Uh, okay, right. So let's do two, level two then. All right, I need a drink there. Book chronicling, chronicling the voyage of Captain Vince. How exciting. All right, so let's scan some things. Buffalo butt. Hey, where you are? Hey, come back. All right. Didn't quite get them all in the frame the first time. Hang on, this might be a good, good one. I hope. There's that. Beef! He got a stick, chat! He's going to build his dam. Whoa! Is he okay? I need to know if he's okay first. He went the other way, didn't he? No! There we go. Yep. Some charred fruits on the ground. Did a Pokemon do this? Oh, wait. No! Oh, I saw him too late. <laughs> that little piece of crap. Crystal Bloom. Crystal Bloom that grows on Florio Island. I saw him in the tree, and then I'm like, wait a second. Then I go by, go back, he's flying away. I hear ducks. Ducks, chat. Ducks. All right, let's startle them away. Excellent. I already got a good one of you. Monkey! I don't think that's gonna do much for me. I'm making a little dam that's so wholesome. There goes that Bidoof, too. Uh, I don't see anything over here. Uh, where is it? Oh, hang on. Hi! Where is the, the thing? Oh. It was Hoot? Like, I didn't already know that. I got a picture of the ducks again. I used to live near a duck pond, chat. I would just go for a walk and there'd just be ducks waddling around. It was cute. I took pictures of them before. Put them on, like, my Twitter. Ducks are wholesome. What was that noise? Snap! Okay, we're reached the end again. Uh, oh, that one's orange. Come back. No, just pause for a second. Okay, spinning around there. Wait for it. Do the wave. There you go. I think I got him just in time. Which one did I get, though? Oh, he's got flowers in his little afro. That's cute. Right. Wholesome game. Just imagine it's Moomin going around with the camera taking photos of everything. That's cute. I love it. Oh. 
I just wish there were Teddy Ursa in this game. You're back. You look hungry for more photos. You bet I am, Professor. Okay. Uh, I don't have a two-star yet. Let's just use this one. I hate how I can't pick one pitcher for each each star category. Can I not... Am, like, can I do that? Or am I just not... Am I stupid and just not see the option? Because it seems like I can only pick one photo, period, from the expedition. Oh, I cancelled it. My mistake. If I can only take one, I gotta take that one. Uh, I already have a two-star, so let's take this one, I guess. It's just one per Pokemon, okay. Um... No reason to not see if it can beat it, but I doubt it. Uh, this one's clear and he got a stick. Wormpole. Oh, this one's got its eyes shut. I like that. Let me try this one. Wait, what? That's Swanna? I, I wanted to get a picture of the duck. I'm crying out loud. I'm gonna try this one. Dodrio. I already have two star one. That's probably not gonna get beaten, so I'll just take this for now. Get the research points. Wow, really? That's all I got? I guess I'll try, but... Um, I'm pretty sure that not having the whole body in the picture is worth more, so I'll do that. Ducks. That should be fine. Comfy. Oh, why is that three-star? It's hard to tell when that Pokemon's doing anything different with its, like, body. And it's waving. All right, here we go. Moomin Snap. Moomin's going on an expedition to photograph all the Pokemon. He can't wait to show Snufkin at the end. What do you got? Nice work. That's right, it's nice work. Excellent. Got a new Pichu. Oh, that's a that was a diamond. How? It looks so terrible. Oh, it did better than I thought, but it didn't quite beat it. Let's keep the old one, obviously. Great timing. And that is the perfect Bidoof shot. Oh, I, w I didn't quite get Diamond. What What's the score for Diamond? I think someone wrote it down in chat. Uh, let me see. Anything above 4,000 is Diamond. I was two points short. Are you kidding me? Whenever I go to look at chat, I keep trying to click back into the game, and then I have to remember, no, this is on my Switch. <laughs> I can't click back into the game. Hang on. I had a charger wire plugged in, but I think it's charged enough. Let's do this. Um. What is that? What is that noise? Um... Chad, I just realized something. Hang on, let me let me just Okay. Why is What what's going on with that? My computer is making my or it says the desktop was making a noise, but shouldn't be picking up anything. I don't understand. Strange. Like the audio was very, very low, but it's like it was capturing something. Like, the only thing it should be capturing is my mic in the capture card. But it said my PC- it was picking up a noise on the PC. Did anyone hear anything weird? It does that for you, too? It's not a big deal? Maybe it's just ca catching, like, the captured audio? I don't know. Yeah, half people probably, probably have no idea what the heck I'm even talking about. I just thought- I was just panicking because I thought the whole recording was going to be worthless in a second. And I got diamond shot because its eyes were closed. Perfect, Swana. Nice work. Perfect shot. There you go. Diamonds, baby. Diamonds. Dodrio. Nice work. Oh, not quite, but it's still good. Grookey. Nice work. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to be anything. Tangrowth. A new discovery. You didn't notice anything? Nice good. 
Gold is fine. The ducks are curious about the large fish. Beautiful. Beautiful ducks right there. Talo. Nice work. Oh, a little bit better. Not over the diamond, though. Gotta get, go, uh, gotta get over the 4,000 mark. Comfy. Mm, great timing. Do you say, is it supposed to be said co as comfy or as a comfy? There we go, diamonds. Comfy sounds cute, though. Well, if you're a completionist, I guess you want diamonds for everything, but uh, I imagine it would increase your research level faster to get them. That's another diamond right there. Duck found its dinner. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. We make more discoveries when we reach some new frontiers. By the way, thanks to the progress you made in your research, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I gotta save none of them. See, when it says save to album, it just means save to, like, the Switch's memory itself. I don't really need to do that. I mean, I, if I want any of my photos, I can just go back on the pl on the footage. <laughs> That's what I can do. In fact, I could go back on the footage and take whatever photo I want. Photography seems to be going well. I think you're ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders. <laughs> a glow called the Lumina Phenomenon. I'm sorry, I keep laughing at the Odino. It just keeps walking back and forth in the same line. It's just so funny to me. I don't know why. <laughs> He's just so lost. Look at it. <laughs> uh... I don't know what I'm doing back here, but I'm gonna keep wandering around. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. I am, but explaining the process scientifically is just one step toward my ultimate goal. It's just bopping around, yeah. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelog, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. All right now. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Okay. Audino, don't know. I don't know what it's doing. You know. Okay, chat. We're going exploring at nighttime. Chat, is there an area that has, like, a, a rain going on? The comfiest thing I can imagine in this game would be, like, going through a nighttime area when it's raining. That would that sounds so wholesome. Just taking pictures of adorable Pokemon. Now, this is fun. I like this. I'm just worried, um... Hopefully I don't, like, overheat the capture card or something. Bunny! 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 Differences in their behavior. Badoof. Come back, bunny. Oh, I got him right as soon as he started zipping away. Uh, where'd the Badoof go? Oh, that's a good one. I see you. He's being blocked by the Afro, though. Is that Tangrowth? That's Tangrowth. Ah! Oh, didn't get it all the way in time. He's just like, okay, man. Now I'm awake. Good job. What's over here? Can I... Oh, Murkrow. It's looking for food. Can I get that tree? Oh. Oh, well, that's a terrible shot. Noises are coming from this unnatural bump. Crystal Bloom. Uh. Can't see anything right now. It's 
Clearly something in the trees, but... Can't do any... Oh! There it is. Anything over here? The ducks are sleeping. Oh, Torterra! Bellas, Bellas, what's going on? There's Pidgeot. Sleeping ducks. Hang on, let me get them all in the picture. Nope, won't stop moving there. <gasps> the sleeping Bidoof! The legends were true! Okay, that was a terrible shot, but whatever. What's that? Is that bunny jumping? That bunny was jumping. Closer. Ah, oh, I messed up the flying shot. Whatever. Okay, what's over here? Is that bunny jumping around again? Hoot! I got it mid hoot, chat. Uh. Okay, that's a decent one. Oh! Alright, there's him again. Look over here. Ain't gonna look over here. No, it's looking over here! Why didn't you turn faster? Missed the shot. Uh, oh, there's a bunny again. There's a hoot again. Those are bees. Ooh! I got that bee mid-shot. Or mid-surprise. Uh, What's this? There's a bloom. Oh, hang on. We got a perfect shot coming. Hey, over here. We just picked up a huge energy reading near you. The professor's busy trying to make sense of the data. Let's ask him about it when you get back. Get the perfect shot. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I was just about to get it. I was waiting for the spike to be completely clear. All right. We'll see how much I enjoy this. I'm having fun right now. I definitely want to play a lot of it. Bunnies are wholesome friends. I should have... I literally, like, had my finger on the on the A button when it w cut to uh, the leaving animation. What's the furthest I got? I can only pick one. How is this one star? That bunny is running with a serious passion. Look at that. Um, I guess I should probably pick one of these, but honestly, I don't think it matters. I think I'm going to be able to get, I know that the starter Pokemon appear frequently, so we're going to get lots of photos of them. I may as well get the, get the higher stars while I can, in case I can't get them later. That's at least what I think. Always got to stick. They're all one star. This one, he's more larger in there. Maybe I have a better chance of getting diamond with this. I already have two. They're all two star, I see. Let's try this. Tangrowth. Tangrowth's just like, what, man? I'm trying to live my life here. <laughs> Find that funny. How is that three star? I What is, like, the behavior determine thing in this game whatever you want to call it it's like it's it's looking down slightly oh yeah that's that's three star behavior right there <laughs> oh oh yeah this is real different chat three star one star three star one star Com skips a whole category that's how that's how strange it is but this is one star them flying no 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 them looking slightly forward. <laughs> that is so funny to me. It's like an animation almost. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. 
Uh, I kind of like this one. <laughs> he doesn't look happy with me. Um, I kind of want to pick the one, of the one that's in mid-flight. Since apparently three star is going to be stupid easy to get. I, I like the look of that one. So I'm going to go with it. Got horns. We got back. We got face. We got other face. Uh, I don't know. This one, we're definitely going to get more. Torterra. I think this one would probably be a good one to start with. Pidgeot. Just go with that. Ducks. They're sleeping. Swana. There's more Pokemon in the frame here. I don't know. That's a two-star hoot right there. And this one definitely much better. Let's go with that. Okay, chat. <laughs> Professor's evaluation. Let's do this. Score bunny. His head's obscured and he, I got him like mid blink, but whatever. Nice work. Wow, nice work. Amazing. Amazing. I nearly got the diamond rank with that. How? How? That's a terrible photo. <laughs> Half his head is obscured. How is that? Oh, that's terrible. And I nearly got diamond for it. Whatever. Great timing. Uh, not quite. This this should be a good one, but can it win? Ooh. That's definitely a winner right there. Don't doubt his profession. <laughs> I just like Tangrowth in the photo so much. He just doesn't want to be there. He just wants me to go away. Not quite. This better be good. I think this one looks good. Oh, I almost got diamonds. Not quite. All right, I need a drink here. Nice work. <clears throat> All right, I guess that one's good enough. That's a pretty nice photo, I think. Great timing. Seven fifty. All right, I'll take it. Imagine a professional photographer. Yeah, it'd be like one of those YouTube videos where it's like, real photographer plays Pokemon Snap. And that'd be like the only video they ever make. I mean, they could probably make a, a, another video that's something like, real photographer plays Dead Rising. <laughs> that'd be funny. I always found videos like that to be kind of funny. It's like, imagine... I think someone made a joke about it before, where it's like saying, imagine a video that's like, real martial artist reacts to Street Fighter. It's like, and yeah, you can see that guy throwing a fireball out of his hand. That's not how we really do it in the pro leagues. It's like, no, really? Nice work. <laughs> Excellent. It was terrible. Nice work. Okay. Other one's still better, clearly. And now we have the Hoot. Ooh. Diamond Hoot, chat. And we got the Combi. A new discovery. So, I know that a Combi is technically three Pokemon together. So, if it evolves into Vespaquin, do, like, two of them just die? Or do they just get, like, converted to, like, the attack and defend moves or something? I don't know. Dark thoughts for a wholesome Pokemon game. Gold Star! Real office worker plays Typing of the Dead. <laughs> that sounds funny. We're just getting started with this after hours research. Good luck out there, I know you can do it. I almost had enough. As big as possible, okay. Night. You went on your first night expedition. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Turn to camp. Why did I tell you that? About what, the bees? I'll tell you an even scarier thought. Do you know what happens to a shiny male combi? It gets banished to a PC box for the rest of eternity. 
Ooh. There you go. I just gave everyone at home nightmares. Hmm, intriguing. Something incredible has happened. Yeah, I know. When did we get this technology? Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've got here is Oh, she just kind of, like, slid into action there. An Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do something special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. What? Aw, I want to go see too. Oh, you see the Dendene up there? Look at that little friend. He went from the bottom floor to the top floor. There he goes. Is he going to appear on the table again? I need to know. I don't see him yet. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Where'd the Dendene go? Where'd that little hamster go? Uh, it saves automatically, so let's go back to research. Now, this game's a lot of fun. I can definitely see, like, just relaxing and going for, like, diamond score on every category. And we barely, like even scratch the first, like, area, as you see here. Illumina spot, let's go. Yeah, I've been looking forward to Pokemon Sunday. Hopefully I can stick to it this time. We can do every well, Sunday like this. Where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Find out. We shall find out. I see trees. I hear nothing. Wow. There's a lot of content if you try going for diamonds. Oh, it's not a legendary, it's just Meganium. False alarm, people. Meganium. <laughs> Except Lorelei. Lorelei loves Meganium here. The Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Quickly. Who needs shiny when they glow? Take picture of grass dinosaur. Hang on. It's more important. I want to get like a zoom in shot. Oh, it's glowing. Okay, again. It's so close that if I zoom in, I can't get the whole body in frame. And if I zoom in now, I just get its butt. Butt shots, chat. I know that was a thing, unfortunately, people were doing day one. I don't know if they patched it yet, but people would take pictures of, like, uh, the Pokemon butts, and they would just use, like, the stickers to, uh, make it look like even more of a butt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just put a, a red dot in the right place, and bam! Nintendo got to drop a patch. <laughs> Face the dinosaur. Okay. I can only take one photo, though. Or rather, keep one photo at the end. Creative freedom. <laughs> Well, there's such things a little too much creative freedom. I can't get a picture of its head like that. Ganium. It's looking at me. It's prancing long. And off it goes. We'll never be able to follow it. Not while we're on these things we call rails. I do wish you could kind of run around in, in first person in a game like this, honestly. I get why they kept it on rails, though. After playing a game like Umaragi Generation, I, I do wish I could just walk around, like, in that game and, like, swap the lenses around. Bye, Meganium. 
We got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Yeah, all one of them. Didn't, like, uh, N64 Pokemon Snap, didn't that have a break button? He don't, he don't care about the rest of them. He's like, pick the glowing one. <laughs> that one looks like it could be an emote. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty good. I got the whole body in that one, just barely. Uh, what else is here? Yeah, this should do it. <laughs> Closest emote you have there. You can pick one photo of this legendary phenomenon that will never be seen again. Only one photo. Burn the rest. <laughs> all right. They all go to the paper shredder. No, it's funny because I have, like, a digital camera this time. Like, the photos have to be printed, so I have to, like, delete... I, I think, like, I'm printing all the photos and then deleting the data afterward and then shredding them. It's like, why? That's a good photo, though. I like that one. Look at that. I didn't think I got one that good. 5,000. Look at that. Now, that's a really good one. Just barely got the whole body in there. In the middle of the glow, eyes closed. In the smile, though, of course. <laughs> it's very lovely. Look at that, you hit a new stage in your research. Maybe I should save that one. Yeah, I got an achievement for it. Multiple achievements for it. Hmm. By the way, now that we got the Illumina Pokemon info, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Uh, yeah, let me save that one, actually, if I can. Trips, you can choose to save Spuff. Uh, let me save the Emote one as well. That might just be the thumbnail. I mean, this is the best part about this game, chat. I can make the thumbnail as I'm playing, because it's all about taking pictures. The before, the sniff, then the... Ah, oh, yeah. Uh... Why does start have to be cancel save? It's so annoying. Did I... Okay, I guess they're being saved. That is so weird how they do that. Now, let me just open my water here. Down some of this. There we go. Just trying not to, like, make drop my water bottle on the de desk again. There's the Dendene. Yes, you're back! That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You are practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Ahem. Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like the legends said. Wow. Remind me what the legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes? Also. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. <laughs> Sounds like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on. Wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's all right. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. <laughs> People are saying the, the Meganium emote picture I took. It reminds them of the He-Man thing. Oh, boy. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found a Lumina Pokemon. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure. But... 
But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Yeah, why not? Well? What'd I get the game for? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With the team Whoa. Badge. Team badge. Everything happens when the main character shows up. When do I get to throw apples at a Pikachu? That's right. I want to bop it on the head and we'll see its reaction. It'll be funny. It's like you were born to wear it. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Aw, oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. More achievements. You officially joined the Lentil Research Team. You officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. Okay. What do we got? Research time. Now that you're full a full-fledged team member, I have something that, that'll come in handy. <gasps> Chat! I got it! The Skull Breaker! As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? But it's just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? Hmm. Oh well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. So this is... This is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. They're sweet and tasty, and they make great snack for Pokemon. They may look just like a regular apple, but they're way lighter and softer. Oh, you had to ruin all the fun. You had to ruin all the fun. <laughs> You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these. All right. Let's get you some practice. They, had, they really had to emphasize the fact that, no, the apples don't hurt the Pokemon. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, I have to say. Like, imagine some poor kid just thinking, like, oh, no, did I hurt the Pokemon? And they're like, oh, no, 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 worry. It's it's a soft apple. Don't worry. Uh, oh, I thought I could move first. No. Is it to get around r rules and legalities? Would it have given the game a T rating if you could hurt the Pokemon with apples or some crap? I highly doubt that. It's the same as aiming your camera. <laughs> Just move the left stick to aim, then press the B button to throw. Give it another try. Can I still bop him on the face? Take a few more practice throws. Come here. Got him. Oh, looks like you startled it. Good. But these are great. That'll be fine. Take this! The, in the damage will add up over time. No, I'll say when there's enough. Don't forget what I told you, okay? Enjoy your snack. Right? Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. You should try testing out the fluff root and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of Pokemon you can attack with it. Hello. Finished explaining, I see? Thanks, Rita. Mm -hmm. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Lentalk? Oh. Rings a bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool folks in here in use in Lentil. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Lentalk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor, too. That sounds super fun! By the way. Look for Lentalk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. You're making a chicken omelet? Sounds wholesome. So is this the request thing? Shockingly well done. Terrific yawn. 
Meganium's pal. When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around. You think it, it's looking for one of its friends. Have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try and catch the culprit. Wonder what it looks like when Torterra yawns. Aren't you curious too? Sometimes Floor just seems to gather natural power from its surroundings. Would you mind getting a photograph of this striking behavior? Okay. If these are like uh, the internet ones, honestly, I'm kind of cautious to look at these. For previous stated reasons. I am streaming, after all. I don't want to see some 12-year-old's work of art. Some edgy 12-year-old's work of art, I should say. Okay. I can go back. Knight's about to level up, so let's do that. Let's throw apples at friends. I need to down some cold water here. All right, I've got infinite apples, or apples uh, with an asterisk next to the name. A bunny. Good luck. No! Don't run! We lost him. You'll do. Did it really have the shockwave there as well? Look over here. Look over here. Oh. Got the bunny. Ah, that's pretty much the same one, but with apples this time. Ah, uh, bunny's in the picture this time. Turn around. I got a mid-jump. Well, that'll do. Caterpie! Wholesome! There's a Murkrow. That's just the... Oh! That's Swan in mid-flight. Oh, he looks so unhappy. That'll do. Um, what else can we get here? How do I make him yawn? I can still throw apples while I'm zoomed in. I might need something else. That wasn't it, was it? Okay, I got it just in time. I was caught off guard by that. It's still working. Better one. Wake up the beaver. No! He's running away. <laughs> That's Pidgeot. I forgot about that. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's more Swana. Apple. Hang on. There we go. Grab myself a multiple stars off that photo right there. They look so done with me. Wait, this would be a good one for Torterra specifically. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's go with that. Nice. Uh, well, could have been better. Oh, that's the hoot. Hang on. I got uh, a hoot picture. Not a good one, though. Oh, another hoot. That's right. Take that. Eat the apple. Alright, I got a good picture of you.
Oh, that's a good one. What's this? Where's the score bunny this time? Is it? Oh, it's on this one. Okay. There we go. That'll do. Boop the hoot. There we go. Local streamer pelts wildlife with apples. Expects them to do something. <laughs> Did I get the yawn? I honestly can't really tell. Look, it just opens its mouth slightly, I guess. Okay, what do we got? It's running. Um... This could beat the one I have, or I could go for a different one altogether. I don't know, if that if the one I got before got gold, this one has to be able to get diamonds, right? I'm gonna take a chance on that. Uh, I don't have Bidoof 2 star, so why not? Uh sure, I'll try. That's three star, apparently. There's a hungry little fella there. Murkrow. Oh, yes, chat. I was joking, but I did it again. Three star. One star. <laughs> Smile for the camera. What is with Murkrow? Uh, I should just get the three star. Just take it. We got Pichu. There's that Pichu there. Two star. This is still technically Pichu. I want these ones for Torterra. Uh, this one, I already have Diamond for Pichu, so let's just try this. Oh, uh, Pidgeot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even going to bother submitting that one. We all know it's crap. Take that. Torterra. Oh! Hey, um... <laughs> how is that four stars? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> how is this four stars? Okay, I guess. I, I guess I have to use that one. It's part of the yawn animation. Okay. This is like someone's... <laughs> like an... This is, just, this is like a weird profile picture. Dramatic. He's just angry. You want to see angry? I'll show you angry. These are... Okay, I, I have one star pincer, so what should I do... Uh, try this one. Swana. I don't have three star. Why not? That's all I got for Grookey. We got Hoot. We got Hurt Hoot. And we have other Hurt Hoot. We got Combi. I already have two star. I don't want, I don't want to submit this one. <laughs> Even if I don't have something for it, that's just embarrassing to submit. <laughs> Look at that! How do I even take that one? Um, I'm gonna try this one. See if I can beat my record. <laughs> chat, no chat. Imagine if I just made that the thumbnail. <laughs> just awkwardly cut off Combi with lots of empty space at the top. <laughs> that would be terrible. That that would be funny for like five seconds. Uh, no, we don't need to worry about Pidgeot. It's not a comb it's just a comb. <laughs> Let's do this. Score Bunny! Nice work. How? Who? Oh! I don't know. Badoof! Aw, not enough for diamonds. Book of Lands. Nice work. Not quite. Tangrowth. Mm. Great timing. All right, that's something, I guess. That's a hungry little friend. Nice work. Yes, yes. Perfect. Mm. We got Murkrow. Nice Somehow that's gold star, but why not? 
And we got this worthless photo. Yeah. Pincer. Oh, that's diamonds. Alright, sure. Torterra. <laughs> Looks so terrible. I got a four star for Torterra at least. Magic car. Three star. Or no, sorry, uh third rank rather. Nice work. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That's how was that a good such a good photo? Whatever. It's like a big apple in the front of it. But sure, we'll take it. Grookey. Nice work. That's a diamond too, apparently. Perfect timing, yes. That's another diamond. Diamond hoot boop. <laughs> it's in pain. What kind of caused this? Nice work. That combi also looks like an emote. Ooh. Okay, that one smashed it. Just got diamonds. Combi surprise, too. We got him. Looking good. Research level for the park has increased. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Uh, hang on, I want to see if I got the request, if that really was part of the yawn animation for the Torterra thing. Oh, I'm going to regret opening this to see the internet photos, but I don't know. Maybe we can see some fun ones. Or some more immature ones. Oh. Get that Eevee. Well, look who it is. Todd. It's the guy. Hey, Professor. It's been a while. It's Todd Snap, that guy who was in the anime for like five minutes. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Hi. Oh, I just realized his, his uh, little armband there, or wristband, that's like the color of his old shirt. Be careful who you make fun of, fun of in middle school. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go, that's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked of you? Hmm. I sure did. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Oh, is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Okay. But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. So, um, for those that don't know, because not everyone might not, not everyone's gonna recognize Todd. Todd was the protagonist of the Pokemon Snap on on uh, Nintendo 64, and he was also a character in the anime for for like a couple episodes, or was it one episode? It's so weird. Like they based an entire game around that one dude. Who's just like, oh, I take pictures of Pokemon, and now he's back. <laughs> That's so strange, isn't it? It's kind of surreal to see him here. His name is literally Todd Snap. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was in the anime, I'm almost positive. We're talking like Indigo League, though. He was there for a couple episodes, came back for two episodes in the Gold Silver, Silver era. Okay. Was he in the game before the anime? I, I don't know. It depends on like uh, which, what happened first in Japan, I suppose. He's actually back. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. Whoa! Huh. Is this those grumpy rivals the Pokemon fans been telling me they want? I don't like them. Hmm. His hair looks like Discount Super Saiyan. So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil. 
Todd's number one student. Okay, now. Easy there, Phil. Well, I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? Yep. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome! Yeah, awesome. I'm Todd. Or no, he's Phil, sorry. <laughs> he's, a, he's just a Digimon protagonist. He looks more like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh of the Week villain. Or a villain of the week for Yu-Gi-Oh. I said that pretty poorly and ruined the joke. He looks like he is from Yu-Gi-Oh. You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need the badge back eventually. I mean, as I was just saying, Todd was literally a background Pokemon anime anime character, and look at him now. <laughs> He's here to fill the space of the rival. Okay, that was terrible. Yu-Gi-Oh of the week. Aw, oh, fine, but if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. So yeah, what's an ecological survey? <laughs> wow. Okay. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. Wow. Todd was in the manga for the third generation, was he? Huh. Now then. Interesting to know. But the manga's not canon! <laughs> this is Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. But this survey will take us past these shores. And this will be our first destination. Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo-1 should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up in the travelogue, right? It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there, too, in fact. Come on. Come on already. Let's get this survey thing started. Agreed. Fair enough. Anyway. Enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. So has no one just explored uh <laughs> the Lentil region before? Um Anyways, I was gonna check this. Oh, look, there's a bunny picture. Check this. That bunny's doing a kick. Powerful. Hang on, I should give this person... I'll give I'll give them a like. I'll give them their internet points. Uh, did I finish one? No, I didn't get the yawn. I guess they were wrong. It wasn't part of that. Hoot Hoot's hidden foot? Have you ever seen a Hoot Hoot's other foot? You should try to get a photo of it. Man, man's asking me for Hoot Hoot feet pics. Wait, didn't I literally do that, though? That was literally the one where I booped it in the head with the apple. I guess uh, it doesn't count as done? I have to do it again? Well, that's a little annoying. Where it snacks and snoozes. There's a Pokemon here. Perhaps it would show... I've literally done this! Oh, you're gonna... That's annoying. <laughs> I have to do it again. Hard one happiness. Pidgeot's cool, but it's kind of distant. They could warm up if you threw a fluff root or two. In the comfort and safety of its own territory, even the wariest Pokemon will let its guard down to eat a tasty fluff root. Asleep on a calm night. There's a Pokemon that's nowhere to be seen most of the time, but at night it sleeps besides Torterra. See if you can find it. I think I've done that as well. Well, all right then. Can't do it unless they ask first. All right, chat. Hoot hoot feet picks. We gotta go get them. But uh, let's go to a new place here first. How about that? Thanks. The jungle. The fa the is it the Fonja jungle or the Founja jungle? I don't know. As in like found ya. Oh, right. Jungle day. Let's go, chat. Research camera. Here's the loading screen. Doesn't feel like it's been nearly an hour and a half. That means I'm having fun. I just saw one of those bouncy things. I think it would bounce if I threw something at it. There we go. Ooh. Audio still good, chat? Oh. No. At least I got a picture for now. 
As long as I get something the first time around, it should be fine. Hello? Well, that could have been better, but... What pecker? Oh. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh. Bug Pokemon. Silk looks very tough. Hello, could you get out of my face? <laughs> Turn around and that's just there. I got Slack King's butt. There's Beautifly again. Wait. I thought one of those trees was like Alolan Exeggutor for a second. I was like, what? Uh, hang on. That's an Arbok. Is that Beautifly in my face again? Rose on the island. Okay, then. I don't think that's gonna count for much. Okay, that'll do. This Beautifly really wants its picture taken. Turn around. Come on, do something. There's another pick a peck. Now it's gone. Hmm. Falling out of pick a -Pex food storage. Get out of there. It's not getting out. There's a cat. And that's another cat. Where is... Where are my ancient ruins? Engulfed by an enormous tree. My part again. What's that? It's a nest. Where's the person that lives there? Hang up there. I got that. That's just running water. We're fine. Wake it up. There you go. Some Magikarp in the water there. Can I? No, that seems to be fine. Anything else? Lots of Beautifly. There's Quagsire doing his thing. Okay, that's something. There's gonna be a lot of leaves and stuff in the way, because it's a jungle, of course. And that's a good beautiful eye picture right there. A beautiful picture, rather. It's okay, the apples don't hurt them, chat. Didn't you see the tutorial? They're fluffy and soft. It probably just means they're, like, rotten or something. He's thinking intently. Three-pointer. There's the exit. There's a lot of trees and stuff in the way for this one. I hope that, like, doesn't hold it. I, like, does the game increase points if it has sort of has, like, vines and stuff in the background? I think that would be a good idea, but whatever. Oh, hi, Kuda. Oh, I got stretched slightly. There we go. Much better. I'm going to carefully just check right here. Okay, capture card seems okay. Just making sure it's not going to, like, overheat. It should it should be fine. Bound sweet. Uh, let's just take that. A palm. 
One star, and let's take that. What do we got? How is that three stars? I don't know. Um, I'll just take that one for now. We're gonna go through, need to go through this multiple times. This one will do. And Beautifly, that's three stars. How is this three stars, but this one's one star? Uh... Oh, it's drinking from the... It's drinking from the pond there, I see. I couldn't catch that at first, I see. Um... I like the look of this one, though. I'm gonna go with it. And we got Slacking's butt. Arbok. Yeah, sure, why not? They're all terrible. He's thinking. Take that. And got him mid eating an apple. Let's go with this. Now then. Professor just makes up the score, why not? A new discovery. Nice work. Okay, decent. It's something for now. Hey Palm doing its thing. Great timing. Gold stars, chat. Gold stars. Excellent. Good enough. Good enough. Let's see what the kitty got. A new discovery. Nice work. Ah, that's better than I thought it would do. This one better do well. I like. I think this one looks really good. Nice work. Direction placement. Okay, I got the diamond. It was worth it. Slacking. Well, obviously the game has, like, an algorithm or whatever for, um, determining your score. But it seems really dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> like, I don't think that you can ever mimic anything that would- Or ever make something that could mimic, like, a real human judging the photos. Nice work. It just scores you based on certain factors. But sometimes those factors seem dumb. You are close, said Professor Oak. Hey, chat, you see that Arbok? Watch you get diamonds. Shut up. <laughs> now, you don't see this every day because you can't see it, Professor. You can't see the Pokemon. Placement, other Pokemon. Wow! <laughs> Quagsire. Yeah. We got Quagsire here. That guy, chat, I just want everyone to remember, this got, this got, like, nearly half as much pose than the Arbok picture. I got a diamond, but still. But still. Ooh, three-star Magikarp. Great timing. This got less than the Arbok as well. Whatever. It is a photo, you can say that much about it. Nice. Our research in this spot's just getting started. I'm sure you'll be more than up to the task. Lentil research team. We got apples. I By the way, if you like, I can start uploading stando photos for you. They deserve to be seen widely. Photos I upload will be added to your collection online and your page will be marked as my Bye. favorites. You can change whether you like me to do this by going on uploads or not. Okay, there's new requests. Let's go take a look at them so we know what we're trying to get. Let me down some water here. I'm doing a lot of talking. Mm, my throat's been very dry because of the heat. Excellent. Mm, much better. Okay, what do we got? Happy monkey. So long, cruel world. Oh no! What happened to him? The oh, that's those are talons. Someone's about to take the poor Magikarp away. Let's give it a sweet. There you go. Have you seen Quagsire jump into the lake? Oh, look at that photo. It's like he's going for a walk with his son. Oh, look at that. That's cute. It'd be great practice trying to photograph at just the right moment. Anything else that's new? We still need to get them feet pics. It's just that one. Okay. Let's go back to research. 
Um, let's do the jungle again, since clearly I'm about to finish it. Okay. This game is very wholesome. Except for that Magikarp. That Magikarp's dead. Magikarp just died right in front of you. You can go, There's like an editor mode where you can use like stickers and filters. That's how you make that stuff. And you can post it online for other people to, to give you internet points. We're still in research level one, so everything's going to be the same here. You can really get a good shot of that. All right, got you going there. This would just, like, break my neck there. Not break my neck, but you know. There they go. Oh. All right. I got a photo there, as long as I can get a new star for it. Oh, got it mid-surprise. That could be worth something. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them there, but... Let me get a... Hang on, let me get a really good Arbok picture. There we go. Best one. They all flew away, but it's fine. I got a good Arbok picture. Can I get a better one? Oh, that's the good stuff. Even better. Even better. The professor will love this. Five stars. Well, let's get a really good one, or for real, actually. It's just hissing. Turn around. It's hard to see the scales on it this time. Oh, I got the flower clipping through its head. I have to use that one. I have to use that one and see what it gets. <laughs> Aw. There you go. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. I'm trying to get the Quagsire. Stupid butterfly. There you go. It's over here. Just take a picture of you, because why not? Arbok just doing its thing. Looks unhappy. Oh, it was looking at me and it got away. Come on out. There we go. That should give me some good ones. Uh, what's up here? Oh, it bounced sweet again. Poor thing. But we got it. What's that? Oh, it's uh, not a Pokemon. There's Magikarp again. Um, anything else in the trees up here I can get? Oh, it's a Lyperd. Hang on. Oh, that should be that should be a high star one. I don't need to take pictures of that one again. There's a Magikarp. Hang on, I can get a good shot here. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that's the good shot right there. <laughs> it's clipping into the rocks. The best photos. Oh, hang on. Get it drinking from the water there. That should be a high star one if the other ones aren't good enough. I don't really want to use this one, but... What's blocking me? Oh, probably Wiper. Cat looking at me. Alright, more Magikarp, I guess. I can only take 18 more, but whatever. Can I make this thing jump? Come on! Do a jump. Do something! Hey, what's that? Okay, I can't photograph it. Through the trees... 
it looks like we're nearing the end. Anything else I can get I haven't seen? There's just like a po random Pokemon flying in the sky I can grab. That'd be cool. Pass the time by throwing at cats. All right. Imagine if the game could detect glitching. And like, it actually like rated the photo based on that. <laughs> Make any new discoveries? A palm. I already have a two star, so let's just take that. It's running, so it should be cool. Uh, Bound Sweet. Nah, I need a one star, so let's go with that. Not the best pictures of this, but... Oh, actually, hang on. No, these three stars are better. Um... I wonder, does the game count the apple as, like, obscuring the Pokemon? Or does it just kind of give you, because you're supposed to throw the apples, does it just, like, like pretend the apple's not there when judging the Pokemon? I don't know. I'll just take that. It's fine. Um, that's a surprised one. I think, like, it's going to be easy to get the three-star one, because it's always drinking at that spot, but the surprise, I'll just get that now. Arbok, hang on. The flower. Yeah, chat. <laughs> I'm going with this one. I don't even care. It's clipping. Th it, the flower is clipping through its face. Um. This is only. Wait, this is two star as well? Well, uh. The rest of these are one star. They're not that interesting. I want to get this. So, I'm going to try. <laughs> Thanks, Beautifly. Whatever. Um. Hey, three stars! But I already have three star. What about the rest of them here? I need to take the chat. I need this clip. I need this. I have to. Now that's photography right there, so. I guess that don't count. No subject? No, what are you talking about? This is a perfectly visible Arbok. Let's go. Professor's evaluation. Let's First, that. let's have a look at Apom here. Nice work. Mm, the pose is nice. Good placement. Other Pokemon, you get yourself a Silver Star. Bound Sweet. Nice work. It's looking pretty good there. Another Silver. This should be a good one. Uh, pose isn't quite there, but... Almost got Diamond. I'll take Gold. I feel like I can probably still unlock some items that'll help me get better pictures. And there's a diamond. We'll take that. What do you got here? <laughs> here we go, chat. What do we got? Mmm, it seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Aw, oh, can you imagine if I could get a diamond with a glitch photo? That's great. And what do we got here? Ooh, okay, that's good. Ooh, that, that how is the size better? Well, all right then. I guess in regards to the whole Pokemon being there, I suppose. Obviously, we want the better photo. Let's take that. Quagsire. This time there's trees in the way. Somehow I got better in one category, but not the other. All right, here we go. Great timing. Whoa, yeah, the size accounts the boulder. New record chat. <laughs> I love that. I love that a lot. Magikarp just like, help me, I'm fusing with the rock. What do we got? Level two. Research level up. Right. So how does uh, getting research points actually work? I My guess is that um, every time you, like, 
the experience like the experience you get is based on like you getting a new Pokemon or beating an, a high score with a with a pitch in the, uh, pitcher in the same category. That's what I'm guessing. Otherwise, it'd be kind of boring if you could just like farm the exact same pitchers over and over to increase your research level. It pr probably is how it works though. Imagine if you could do that though to quick farm it, and that was like the speed run strat. Oh, that see that looks so lame. Thanks for the progress you made. I got something to report. I'll fill you in on the photo squared away. Think you'd be pleased to hear this. Okay, then. Maybe I should. Hang on. And he's good for thumbnails yet. I just want to save the Magikarp one. We'll do that. Return to camp. Excellent. Okay, I want to check the stream health right quick. Looking good. Still loading. I need a drink. All right. Looks like you're finding your feet in the new island. It's about time I gave you the next task. What? what is it? What is it? I'd like you to visit the jungle during the night and photograph a crystal bloom glowing in the dark. Huh? What's a crystal bloom? Or crystal oh, bloom? Uh... It's a type of flower that can give off light. Do you remember seeing any odd flowers out there? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Red ones. Mm -hmm. That's probably the type we're after. If you see one lit up at night, it's what we call in the Illumina state. Do we need to do anything special if we find one? No. Not particularly, just snap a photo of it. Pardon me, I'm like hiccuping now. Great. I don't need this right now. Your camera can analyze it for you. Nice. That should be all you need to know for now. Enjoy the nighttime jungle. Okay. Jungles. Jungles are fun, chat. What do we got? Party time! That hoot is ready to go to town. I think I heard a Pokemon crying here, but where is it coming from? I don't know. What do you want me to do about it? Hard work in the jungle. I often see Pick a Peck flying near Toucanon's nest. Where the heck is a Toucanon? Well, I've seen that nest before, but I didn't see Toucanon. What do you suppose they're up to? Research time. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I reached level two. And now we have nighttime jungle, so let's go, let's do that now. Keep trying to advance. Todd's tips: the bigger, the better. Pokemon and photo aren't just the subject. Make sure they look as big as possible. Yeah, photos. We're going on an adventure chat. Hmm. <clears throat> it's pretty dark out there. You might have a hard time finding Pokemon. That? Look for a growing crystal bloom for me. Oh, we got Did that. You? Come back, cat. Well, there's a better Arbok picture. Look at this. More lol. Looks unhappy that I just bopped it. I gotta bounce Sweet's Eye. Uh, more of those. Where's the spider? There goes the cat. You can easily see the Pokemon around with this, yeah. There they are. Look how wholesome they are. Three at once. Oh. Come back, spider! Oh, there it is. Not glowing, though. Oh, really? A useless Ledian. What do we got over here? Just a little closer. Darn it. 
Oh, I got it mid-surprise. Nice. Didn't intend to do that, but it worked. Uh... Sleeping cat. over here. It's scratching its face. Anything over here? The music is very, very low in this game compared to all the sound effects. No! How did I get a more lol picture from that? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, did I actually get two cannon? It's gonna be a bad picture, but... Warlol, pick a pack. Ancient Ruins. Any picture of those? Do I? I don't know. I'm looking for a glowing crystal bloom. I can't light them up myself. Oh, that's wholesome. Wake up. There, perfect. Are there any Pokemon here? Don't see anything. Multiple magic harps. All right, good enough. Looper. Oh, it's sad. I made it upset by booping it. Don't worry. Come back, little friend. Ah, darn it. Couldn't get it mid-jump. Thought I saw a Surs get there. Ah, uh, anyways. There's the glowing crystal bloom. Just making sure it counts enough. Perfect. Get hole in the frame there. Oh, that's perfect. What's it doing there? Sleeping. Was oh, there another Yen Mag up there? Okay. Magikarp, Crystal Bloom. I guess I'm done now. Don't worry, Wooper. And I keep throwing apples at it. Of course I did. The Wooper wanted the apples. Remember, they don't hurt chat. They're soft, fluffy apples. Gosh. It's like you didn't even see the tutorial. Hello. Hello again. The time of day makes a big difference, doesn't it? What do you got for me, Professor? Or what do I have for you, I should say. Um, I think this one actually looks really nice. And yeah, there's Magikarp in the background, too. Let's go with that. I don't have a one star, so maybe I should just... Um, look, my part's way too small in this photo. Let's try this one. Try this. Uh, yeah, this the last one I got was pretty perfect. Let's go with that. Or was it a different one? No, I think this is the best looking one. Bound Sweet. Sure. We'll try. Ariados, mid surprise. Let's go with that. Quagsire. That one where it's facing should be fine. We got Wooper. We got Wooper running away in anger, and we got Wooper running away in anger part two. Let's just take that one. I guess this. I don't expect it to be worth much, though. These are all one star. Crystal Bloom. Ancient Ruins. Sure, we'll show them that. I can show them that for some reason, though. I don't know what it does. Okay. Jungle. Nighttime. Let's do this. Yen Mega. What do we got? This is a good one. A new discovery. Guaranteed Diamond. Ooh. Yeah. Told you it was a good one. Mm, nice work. Nice 
Nice work. Okay. Oh, 90 points short of the diamond. They're still good, though. Now we got this. Please tell me the glitch one's better. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Sorry, glitch photo. You gotta go. They're all having a little nap. Aw. How is that not a diamond one? The other Pokemon score barely gave me anything. Bound Sweet. Good. Okay. How is this one better? I got, like, a shot of its eyeball, and it's better than the group photo I had last time. What is this crap? It definitely has to be, like, ignoring the grass, or some of the grass in the terrain there, for, sh for sure. That one's just very aesthetic. Look at that. I'll take it. Better than I thought for something that small. Nice work. And it's a diamond shot. We got Ledian. But it's Ledian, so no one cares. 3,000, I guess. And that's a whooper. Oh, I almost got diamonds. Okay. Ooh. Better than I thought, but the other one's still better. Yeah, Crystal Bloom. Alright, here you go, pal. Ancient Ruins. A new discovery. So, what did I give this to him for? You get the feeling we're drawing closer to a center of the ancient mystery. Maybe I need to give him this some give him this as like a requirement for something later. Mm. I imagine the Pokemon behave differently at this hour. Keep up the good work. I almost got a level up out of it. Registered seven bug types. Crystal Bloom Red. By the way, now that we've got that Crystal Bloom info, I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. New request, and also new cutscene, when he says he's got something to report. Oh yeah, th this setup I have is so weird. Like, I'm just surrounded by monitors right now. <laughs> I have my microphone in a weird spot. I it's nice though, it feels fancy. Just have like three monitors set up just to play a console game. Great job! Your photos gave us plenty of data to work with. Now I've got something new to show you. Take a look. Oh, oh those are the orb thingies you've been working on. Didn't you say they could make Pokemon and Crystal Blooms glow? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I call them Illumina Orbs. Fortunately, blue Illumina Orbs only work here on Florio Island. Huh? What? How come? I suspect it's because different areas of Lentil have distinct types of energies flowing through them. For now, I want to see the fruits of your research in action. Watch this. Observe. Whoa! It's glowing! Nice. That was awesome. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Huh. Wow, Lentil's very own light show. That Audino doesn't seem very impressed. What did you call it again? The Illumina Phenomenon? It's interesting how it can occur in both Pokemon and plants. Mm -hmm. it can you, you can use these orbs to send Pokemon and Crystal Blooms into the Illumina state for a little while. When you do, watch for changes in their surroundings. Hey, so. Can we have some of the orbs to work out or work here on Florio? Yep. Of course you can. <laughs> We're gonna have to try these out back at the nature park. Hamster's up the stairs now. That Audino is clearly busy. <laughs> there we go. So I got orbs. And then in the N64 game, what was it? You literally threw, like, balls of, like, uh, gas at them or something? <laughs> this is a bit more wholesome. Under the lily pads. Bird, IRL, not, cli not clickbait. Okay. Oh, something. 
Sudden movement. I saw Tangrowth suddenly move in the most amazing way. It was too slow to get a good photo. Mind giving it a try? Hey, I heard Dodrio can fly. Never seen one do that before. Have you? Comfy always runs away from me. I wonder how I could get them to be my friends. But don't ask me. Dancing with the Queen. Combi are very devoted to Vespaquin. If you observe them closely, you'll see that these Pokemon do more than just gather nectar. Falls asleep. I heard a really loud noise and got me wondering, do you think Arbok ever falls out of its tree while it's sleeping? Throw stuff at it to find out. Do you know what motivates Kobe to work so hard? You may find out if you search this area carefully. The literal other one told me. The one before this told me. I haven't completed a request yet. Okay, let's go back here. How close am I to getting a level up in these areas? Uh, let's let's redo park or er, park day, because now I have the orbs and the apples now. Ah, I just finished off my water there. See if we can get some new star photos. Yeah. Okay. The session automatically ends if I take too many pictures. That sounds like a speed tech chat. Take care. Oops, wrong button. Come back. Oh. Oh, what's it doing there? Okay, that's a good one. I gotta get that Amolga this time. Oopsie. No! Oopsie. I keep hitting the wrong button. Well, I got it jumping. Does that count? Probably not. Here goes the Bidoof. Poor Wormhole. Get over here. Oh, the Amolga. No! Come back, you little piece of crap! Darn it, as soon as I remember, he's like, Whoops, I'm gone again! Ah! Oh, there's another one! Got him. There we go. I was a little too panicked for that, honestly. Alright, well, I got a picture of him. That's all that matters. Okay. I was genuinely panicking when I saw him go away again. Okay, that's a good one. The birds are taking off. Is that Dodrio gonna go flying? Hang on. No, I'm watching the Dodrio. There it goes! Oh, it just jumped. <sighs> I didn't get it flying. I got Pichu. Bidoof! Just looking at... Out in the ocean. Uh. Oh, they're so cute! Look at them. Look at that friend. It's over here. Turn around. Okay. Happy ducks. I should have thrown the thing at them. That's a hoot hoot. Can't get that hoot hoot or the that foot pick. What's it doing there? Um like I missed some stuff. Well, that could work. Um hang on. Or the flowers. I 
I don't know if I got the request or not. Hang on. Can I get your, the request for this? Is it a random flower color each time? Well, I got that at least. That one's got the flowers in its afro, that's cool. Wonderful. We threw that apple at him. It made them upset, but it's okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Been looking forward to this. Took a lot of photos. And what do we got? This was Vavillion? Okay, that's garbage. Oh, this is four stars. So let's just grab this. Dodrio. This was Jump. Also Jump. What about... This didn't count as anything. Ah, uh, Crap, which one do I choose? <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. They're all not the best anyway, but whatever. I don't know how the game's gonna calculate it. Oh, look at that wholesome beaver. I doubt any of these are gonna beat what I got, but I'll try. This is two star. Let's just take that. And I got the Emolga. Try that. Taylo. I don't have two star Taylo, so why not? Pichu. Yeah, sure. We'll try. <laughs> I highly doubt it's gonna do anything. Well, you never know. Magikarp. Comfy. Sure. The monkey. Got him there. Um, this one looks good. Let's go with that. That's fine. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, no, I got a sneeze chat. Okay, I'm muted just in time there. I didn't get diamonds, though. There you go. I don't know if I got the flying picture. I, it looked like it just jumped. Nice work. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat this adorable Bidoof. Wormpole. And diamonds for hitting the worm with an apple. Emolga, they exist. A new discovery. Nice work. 2,000, I'll take it for now, it's points. Ooh, I actually beat my score. May as well take the one that got more. There's a gray square in the photo if you got the request. Oh, I didn't see that. Here we go. Let's just get this. Not quite. Pichu. Yeah, this is nothing. Didn't expect much of this. Oh, yeah, I beat it by a tiny bit. Not very much, though. Just take it. Doesn't your photo decks have, like, a total score, I think? Let me see. Okay. No, well, ugh, there we go. The Grookey. Yeah, didn't expect much, but whatever. Gorgeous. This should be a good one. Nice work. It's picking up the apple with vines. That's cool. Ah, uh, close. Mm -hmm. Oh, not quite. Ah, uh, do I want to save any of these? Really? Actually, go back here. I could save this little Badoo friend. Wonderful. 
doofus so wholesome chat. Uh, you know what? This one looks kind of cool, too. I'll take that. Just for now. I don't know how many of these I can really hold. Turn to camp. I'd say I could do, like, one or two more sessions, and I'll stop for a break. I I'm, I'm trying to, like, uh, not go more than, like, two and a half hours for a session, so I have time to, like, stop... Just, like, refill my drink. And I also don't want to overheat the capture card. This is, like, my first time really using one this like this. Where's it going? Nice and calm. <laughs> They're going on a little adventure. There you go, friend. Any new ones? Hang on, what? So, I didn't complete any of them. I'm getting any of these done, apparently. Hmm. Let me go back. To, I think I was about to level up the jungle. Yeah, let's do jungle nighttime again. How about that? Do a quick check of the stream health. Wonderful. Look at that pincer bounce up and down. Oh, I can skip this now. I didn't notice the skip thing there. Come back, bounce weight. Glowing cat. Wow, those apples landed perfectly, didn't they? Oh no, they're on the rock. I thought they were on the vine. Is something behind me? My card. Excellent. There's that mystical bound suite. I got him sleeping. More alone in the tree. Following me. Oh, that's a good one. Got the mid puff. Oh, there's you again. Oh. Hey, good eye. Now we can get a closer look at those swamp Pokemon. Oh, it changed the path. Oh, that's cool. That's how I get closer to the Ariados. Uh, they're kind of bunched together, though. <laughs> That's a funny spider picture. Sleeping. Oh, it's a terrible picture, but whatever. Okay, so is there anything else over here? There's more March and Mo Morlal. I hope all the Pokemon here don't eat mushrooms, because Morlal... Oh. oh, I hit the wrong button, as you can see there. Hang on. That might be worth some more. Hang on. Oh. Ah, darn it. I think that was one for a request. I may have missed all that. Alright. <laughs> Two Cannon is just always pissed at everything. What's that? Um... Sleeping cat. Eh. Wolper. Yeah. 
It's whooping. Here he goes. Was it Quagsire or Whooper that no, I wanted to see jump? Awesome. I think I got it. Oh! Nice. I didn't know they could do that. Well, I got the picture. Hang on. Oh! Rainbow. It's a good background if I could land on something. Okay, it should be fine. I think that's it. We got lots of Wolfer pictures. Look at these friends marching. There you go. Great job. It was Quagsire they wanted? All right. It don't matter. You know what, my Switch is also hot. Probably shouldn't worry too much about the capture card. These things are just built to last. I hope. Behold, the best bounce sweet picture you'll ever see. My part... Sure. I don't have two star. Okay. Had to cough there. Ouch. I already got the two star. I think I'm gonna try this abomination, see if it does anything for him. These are both two star. You know what? Fine, they're glowing. Uh, this one's more centered, so I'll try that. Can I possibly beat this? Um, no, I'll try the one star. What? That's all I got? <laughs> oh, whooper. So many whoopers to choose, chat. I think whooper might be the thumbnail now with this picture. Um, there's that one, that one. Oh, they're all so great. They're all one star, though. Except that one, which we're not using. Um... I like this one the most, honestly. But which one would technically get the best score? This one probably be really good, but... I'm gonna use this one. For now. I don't have two stars, so... Let's go with that. And Crystal Bloom. I don't know, does he want more of these or not? This should be fine. Let's see what you got. Bound Sweet. Excellent. How did this win? Why do these obscure Bound Sweet photos keep beating my old ones? Look at that! You can't even see the Pokemon! All right. Okay. Okay. Five points behind. That's good, but not good enough. Nice. Work. nice. And diamonds. Ariados. Nice work. Size is good. Oh, okay. The direction, it's because it's because that other Ariados is blocking the whole photo. That's why. Still, I need better than nothing. Ledian. Yeah, I can't. I thought for sure that wouldn't do better. Two cannon. Be angry. Nice work. 
Oh, I was close. Magic car. Nice work. Ah. Uh, that's fine. We got Wooper Chat. Pose 500. Size better. 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 The best Wooper you've ever seen. That's right. The best Wooper picture ever. I think this Wooper might just be the thumbnail now. Depend on how it looks. When I'm actually making it. We got Yan Mega now. He's having a nice meal. Ah, oh, that was close. Crystal Bloom. Does it really matter? I don't know. Okay. Uh, one more and then we'll stop for a break. Looks, look at that. You hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. Path to the swamp. You discovered a route that leads to the swamp. There's your ten normal type species. Okay. By the way, thanks to the progress you made, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. Okay, then first, save whoopers. Oh, uh, hang on. I can just quickly do it with that. All the whoopers. The good whoopers there. How wholesome, chat. How wholesome. Return to camp. Should be good. I'm not gonna put the He-Man Meganium in the thumbnail. <laughs> It looks so we looks so weird and empty if I did that. What are we tired about? <laughs> All right, on to the next site. Wow. And what do we got here, Professor? Now then. I love the Audino in the background so much. <laughs> we got new islands to explore now. I've pinpointed two teleportation points we can use. Ooh, where? Look. One on this long, narrow island, and another offshore in the middle of water. Hmm. Captain Vince never got to that spot offshore, did he? This is gonna be amazing. I'll let you decide what order you want to visit them in. Now, maybe this is probably a good spot to take a break. Since we just unlocked two new areas, pretty much. Well, let me check the request thing here. I still haven't gotten any one of these tree-dwelling Pokemon when a bunch when that huge tree lit up. I saw a bunch of Pokemon fly out. I couldn't tell what kind of Pokemon they are. If only I took a picture of it. Where's that? Pikapex fruits appear to be missing. Where do you suppose it happened to it? I've seen this! <laughs> Unusual spot. I think, or I usually think of Letty and eating in midair as it flies, but I wonder if it ever eats on land. Could you look into that for me? Okay. I gotta try and get some requests done. Alright, though. Um. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to take a break. I've been going for almost two and a half hours. So, I hope YouTube's enjoying this so far as well. I hope everyone in the stream's enjoying this. This has been very, very fun. Wasn't expecting to have this much fun. Let me just close that down there for a second. Okay, short break, and then I think I'm going to continue with some more of this. So, for YouTube audience, hope you're all enjoying Pokemon Snap. Have a good night. Bye-bye.